project background. The actual dimension of the building is 45 meter high and 85 meter long. It was designed by an architectural firm known as Skidmore Owings and Marine or SOM. The building was completed in the year of 1962 and the task of building the actual building was handed to Robert E. McKee Incorporation. It was originally designed to accommodate three religions and belief, which are the Protestant, Jewish, and Catholic. The design principles. The chapel consists of tubular steel frame of 100 identical tetrahedrons. Each tetrahedron uh, weighs 5 tons and is enclosed with clear aluminum panels. They are comprised of 6 inch tubes with 4 inch secondary cross braces. The tetrahedron is spaced 25 mm between each other, and the spaces between those tetrahedrons are filled with colored mosaic glass enclosed in an aluminum frame. I will talk about the introduction of the case study. What is folded plate? Folded plate is a type of structure in which it is formed by a flat plates or slabs joined along their common edges. The next point is, the actual plates may come in various shapes and sizes, but the common one are either in rectangular or in triangular shapes. My third point is, folded plates as a structural element has been used since the year of 1929. And since then, it has become a famous element picked by the architecture due to its high tensile strength. My well, last point is, it allows the creation of a wider buildings due to it can withstand more weight without, requir without requiring additional supporting beams. So I will explain about the method installation of the folded plate roof at Air Force Academy Chapel. Okay, for the first method is the construction of base structure and steel bracket. Okay, uh, the base structure was built by the reinforced concrete. During the concreting process, the anchor bolt was buried in the concrete base structure. After finish, uh, the steel bracket is placed on the base structure. Okay, for the second method. Uh, for the second method is uh, the installation of the main roof steel structure. The main roof steel structure is designed as triple uh, triangular structure, which is it was uh, joined by bolt and nut. Okay, uh, for the third method is the installation of the braces. Okay, uh, the braces is the the braces is installed uh, to the main roof steel structure. Uh, which is it was joined by bolt and nut. Okay, for the fourth method is uh, the lifting, the lifting process of the uh, main roof steel structure. Okay, the structure was lifted up by the tower crane, and the structure was hinged to the base steel bracket. The bracket was joined with the end of the main roof structure for the jointing, uh, with the base steel plate. Uh, when the lifting of the structure was carried, uh, the bracket was set into the base of steel plate and joined with uh, with the last flash of bolt and nut. Okay, for the last method is the installation of aluminium panel. Okay, uh, the installation of aluminium panel is uh, is used uh, to cover the main roof steel structure. The aluminium panel also uh, is act but it is act as a roof plate which is to cover the uh, structure of the folded plate roof so next i'm going to explain on the detail jointing and connection of the folded plate roof so firstly is the connection between the concrete base and the steel bracket firstly an anchor bolt is buried in the concrete base and then is connected to the steel bracket and it's tightened using washer and then bolt and nut and the second one is the steel roof structure this, the pieces of the steel roof structure is connected by using uh, bolt and nut and the third one is the steel roof bracing the steel roof bracing is connected to the steel roof structure by using bolt and nut and it is arranged diagonally and the lastly is um, connection of the aluminium panel to the cross braces so it is arranged subsequently on the 
cross braces and is connected by using a, a nail into a pre-drill hole. So basically, during the construction of folded plate roof, there are various types of material used during the construction. Um, the first one is concrete base, the second one is steel roof structure, steel roof bracing and lastly is the aluminium sheet panel. So for the first one is the concrete base. The concrete base, the merit is it is very durable and strong and can bear heavy loads. But the demerit is due to its heavy weight, um, it is complicated during construction. And the second one is the steel roof structure. The steel roof structure is very lightweight and easy to install. And the demerit is it is easily to get rust. So for the third material is steel roof bracing. The steel roof bracing, the merit is it is very light in weight and easy to install. It only use bolt and nut to connect to the steel roof structure. And the demerit is it can easily be rust. And lastly, for the aluminum sheet panel, aluminum sheet panel, the merit is it is very light in weight and easily to install. But due to heavy rain in Malaysia, it can easily be rust and corroded. So this is because the aluminum sheet panel is used as the roof covering. Okay, next we go to the safety measures during the installation of folded plate roof. Okay, for the first is working at high place. Okay, when we working at the high place, we must ensure all of the equipment uh, must be in safe condition. Okay, next all of the workers must wear the PPE, especially body harness, which is it is to prevent uh, from fall from height. Okay. Uh, second is lifting operation. When we do lifting operation work, of course, we use a heavy lifting equipment. So, we must follow the proper safety procedure and obey the limit of the heavy uh, lifting equipment. Okay, the third is uh, electricity. Okay, the uh, usually uh, the installation of electricity uh, need the professional for the installation process. Okay, so uh, we must ensure uh, they use uh, the safety gear when working with, uh, working with electricity to prevent from electric shock. Okay, the electrical tool also must be in a uh, safe condition. Okay, last is extreme weather which is uh, the worker must drink a lot of water to prevent from dehydrated. They also must uh, wear the suitable clothes. It is to prevent from the skin cancer. So, uh, one of the mechanical system that can be found in the building itself is one of the most commonly used um, mechanical system all over the world uh, for any types of building, which is uh, mechanical ventilation. So, basically, the mechanical ventilation is important as it is used to transport uh, contaminated air from the inside of the building to uh, be replaced with a fresher air from the outside of the building. So, there are basically two types of uh, mechanical ventilation that can be used in a building, which is the first one is centrifugal fan and next is axial flow fan. This um, we have selected for this assignment is that uh, this chapel is uh, obviously a place of worship. Now it is very important for us to highlight on that as uh, various um, religion place of worship uh, have um, differences in uh, size and shape, uh, shapes. Therefore, uh, electrical system installed or used is mainly depending on those factors. Another mechanical uh, system that is provided in the building is that fire detection and alarms. Uh, so basically, um, it is widely used in a long span structure building or any wide building, especially uh, a place of worship. Now, this is used uh, so that it can warn and alert people inside the building when there is a smoke and heat is present. Now, the way it warns or notify uh, the building occupant is uh, either by audio devices so that the building occupants can evacuate and exit the building safely. However, mechanical ventilation always uh, requires and consists of a fan, blower, a filter and also a duct. 
So um, in order for you to transport air from the inside of the building to the outside of the building, it requires acceleration, force, deformation and velocity. So, uh, one of the most uh, important um, electrical system used in this building is that artificial lighting. Now, um, artificial lighting is very important as it is will be used to highlight on religious um, arts, statues or religious spaces such as uh, the altar. Now, uh, the altar will be one of the most um, important place uh, during a mass as uh, the leader of the prayer or also known as the priest will then distribute uh, an uh, Eucharistic bread to its follower or worshippers and this is one of the most sacred um, act in the mass. Next is public address system. Now uh, usually a professional uh, quality sound performance comprises of a high quality uh, vocal microphone and a full set range of uh, loudspeaker as it is also crucial in a place of worship. Now, this is because uh, the installed PA system is used to deliver the messages clearly and loudly to the receiver from the priest uh, to its people so that um, all the word of God or any important messages uh, religiously can be um, reached or received by the worshipper clearly and loudly. The last but not least is that you can also find surveillance system and cameras all over the building. Now this is one of the most important uh, electrical system uh, installed as uh, a building like uh, the chapel itself is uh, in a high possibility to be intrude or to be a target of terrorists. Now, it is important for us to install a high efficient uh, surveillance camera as this can reduce the number of crimes happen within the building or we can identify um, terrorist attack or terrorism um, act uh, when it happens.